We had a number of questions related to Israel and a military strike. And in a recent op-ed, you gave 20 reasons not to attack Iran, and you were quite explicit calling a military strike idiotic. Um, tell us why you think, tell us why or some of the reasons why you think this is the case, and do you fear that a strike can happen within the next six months or so? I don't want to see the U.S. as a warfare country. I really don't like it. I really don't know what the U.S. gained attacking Afghanistan and Iraq. Trillions of dollars. Thousands of Americans, they lost their lives. Tens of thousands of Afghanis and Iraqis, they, lie, they, they lost their they, they life. What was the excuse? Weapons of mass destruction. It was a lie. Who did it? I don't know. War on terror against Al-Qaeda and Taliban. After 10 years, now the U.S. is doing its best to, to negotiate with Taliban how to manage Afghanistan. If it was your, your objective, you could, you, you could do it at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, I really don't understand what the U.S. could gain after two wars. This is exactly the reason I see this would be a disaster for the U.S., for Iran, for Israel to go to the fourth war against Muslim country in the region. First of all, if, if the, the, the target is a Iranian nuclear program, it may delay, but you would never be able to remove Iranian nuclear technology because they have, this is homemade. They have technology, they have knowledge, and if you destroy one facility, they would build it tomorrow another facility. This is not the way. And I, I think that the main loser would be Israel. Already Israel is isolated worldwide. And another war pushed by Israel, I believe, would create more hateness toward Israel. 